By now, most of us have seen the video of the Mexican Naval training ship colliding with the Brooklyn Bridge, and we know that there was some fatalities involved in this accident. But we're beginning to wonder, maybe uh, was the problem in the propeller system on the ship? Now, this is a controllable pitch propeller demonstration here, a CPP, and if the ship had this kind of propulsion system on it, there is a possibility that it may have failed and the ship, while the control lever, uh, the shaft just turns in one direction, mind you, and if they were in reverse and then put the propeller to forward and it never reversed or it went to the forward position to go ahead, they add throttle to it and they're still in reverse um, this very well could have led to uh, the tragedy where uh, we saw so many of those naval cadets up on the rigging of the tall ship uh, when, it, when it struck the bridge. We've looked all over the internet trying to find images of the propulsion system or the engine room uh, from the ship and just have not found anything. Uh, we did find some information that the sister ships that were constructed at the same time as uh, this ship was do in fact have that controllable pitch a propeller. And it makes sense, especially if you can really control that, like if you're under sail and could actually lay that propeller flat um, so you, you wouldn't have um, near the drag of, uh, of the propeller if it was kind of set in there at an angle. Um, you know, if it was, if you could control that to, to where it's completely flat, it makes perfect sense. And if that system failed and it was still in reverse and wouldn't come out of reverse, and the captain is ordering full ahead, and they are continually just adding power to the to the engine to try to go ahead, and in fact the propeller is set to. Uh, it's uh, reverse mode or locked into that because of some sort of malfunction there. Uh, that would explain why the ship just went back. Still don't understand why they didn't at least try to attempt to um, get the anchors deployed. Keep in mind this thing happened very quick. I think the time from when they actually started moving off the berth to depart to impact time of the bridge was like 11 minutes. And uh, you got to think probably half of that was spent as they're kind of coming back nice and slow into uh, the center channel of the river. Uh, it is a tragedy, there is no doubt, and investigations will continue, but I'm wondering now if a controlled pitch propeller uh, did cause this accident. Thanks for watching, and, and you guys be safe out there.